Alright, the oscillations have finally stopped. I needed to move the camera a bit. Anyways, it is 11.53 a.m. Death about noon on Saturday, September 12th. I know that because I just did a bit of, I uh, just bit of, did a bit of, uh, recording in my logbook for my research. Uh, atmospheric physics, I just recorded, uh, several images that I thought were important, that, uh, showed some features that, that, uh, needed to be recorded. Another thing, sometimes you're not seeing anything, there's nothing of interest to see. Other times there are other, there are things that should be noted, and that's when you have to take your notes down, and every time you take your notes uh, on observational research, you put down a time and date stamp, and that kind of brings you into the current time and place where, oh, it's uh, September 12th, okay. And so, well, that's what just just happened now. And this is the beginning of the weekend vlog, uh, where we vlog uh, Saturday and Sunday as a single vlog. Because what happens is, it's kind of, well, it, it may look like being lazy that I'm s squeezing things together, but there are times where Saturday and Sunday merge, or or even other days. I can have a situation where I'll have two days merge into one day because the sleep that is needed for the, you know, the, to separate your days doesn't occur. It's broken up. And that's what's actually happening now between Friday and Saturday is I've had a broken sleep because I'm waiting for delivery. Uh, and the delivery should be coming in sometime today, but... In order to confirm that delivery was going to come in, I had to be up at various different periods of time. So it wasn't a steady sleep, but at the same time, I also had to be up to do the gaming, so the, the two con sort of conflicted. Uh, the gaming went off fine. Uh, I was able to do what I needed, every, what I needed to get done. But the thing was, is that... Uh, oh, there's something funny. <laughs> Uh, the thing was is that it, it, it literally did it, it interrupted my sleep it what the my sleep wasn't the way it should have been so uh, it behaves as if you have a sort of a single day but more often than not it, it also if the dreams are significant and you're still mulling the dream over and that's what I've had almost all week this week I've had a, a period of altered states uh, that sort of lasted for uh, uh, it's lasted for four or five days, almost an entire week I've been in an altered state. Uh, and then it affects my dreams, and it affects my state within the dreams and my state that I'm awake in, because I, I feel that I'm still within the dream. I'm still thinking about the dream, I'm still thinking about the events that occurred in the dream. There's the, the, alarm, there's the, the, the chimes, from that's 12 o'clock now. We're at noon. It is the thoughts of, of, of the dreams still stay with you, and, along with the emotions that gets you in, put you into 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 a phase of what we call ponderance, where you start it's sort of a deep thinking about what's going on. And as you do this sort of deep thinking, uh, your sense of reality shifts from something that you're completely aware of your surroundings is something that you're not necessarily aware of your you're not necessarily aware of your surroundings and that's sort of the case you know even I, I finished these so called the standard path of the YouTube YouTube stroll uh, but I had gotten off into my called sub path and two were, were, were kind of un, not necessarily unusual the, the personalities that I watched these are the teen vlogs. The teens will often have a more quirky per personality uh, and represent uh, a sort of uh, almost a surrealistic type of uh, experience as I'm watching their vlogs. Uh, some of them are not necessarily vlogs, but some of them are. You'll have a vlogging channel that says vlogging channel, but they'll be vlogs. But you won't have necessarily a vlogging channel, but the vlog, the, what you're watching, the video you're watching, is actually a vlog. Uh, uh, Clay Lea is an example of that. 
Claylea has a her her Claylea channel. Just that title alone. Then there's Claylea vlogs, but on the Claylea channel, a number of the videos are basically vlogs. And she's got a quirky personality that sort of fits in well with the feelings of surrealism. Uh, I, 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 the altered state is a surreal, surreal, surrealistic state. Uh, it's an altered state, and it's I don't know how I, I don't know how to describe it. It's the way I used to feel when I used to sit up, stay up or get up at 3 o'clock in the morning to watch these old sci-fi movies or these old monster movies. These monster movies were in black and white. They were really crappy. but There was something campy about them that just... You wanted to watch them. It, it, it was fun to watch. But at the same time, at 3 o'clock in the morning, you, you, your state of mind isn't necessarily where it should be. You feel like it's 3 o'clock in the morning. You, you were awake, but you... Yet at the same time, you feel like it's three o'clock in the morning, and watching her at in this state. Well, in this case, it was it wasn't it was around one o'clock in the morning, <laughs> so it wasn't too far off the mark. But two two hours off the mark, there was this sort of sense of you know uh, of, of surrealism and. There are a couple other girls, gr girls I used to watch a long time ago. One was called Morgan Page Loves, and the other one was called uh, All I Knew Her as a, as a Geeky Blonde. And they presented these th these very quirky, offbeat videos uh, that uh, were just sort of it, it fit with that state that, that that I was in. Anyways, this is the beginning of our vlog. This is the beginning of the long weekend. <laughs> long because it's one whole day. Hopefully I'll vlog more. <laughs>
an upsetment. And this is what you're seeing in the streets. This is this is this is what's playing out uh, during uh, the election season. It it is the left hand path of the left revealing itself, revealing the anger, revealing the hatred, revealing uh, this level of well, even though they call themselves tolerant, they call themselves to be good people. The reality is, is they're not anything but. And you see them being pulled into the depth, to the depth of depth of evil, uh, and it's all based on this whole concept of rights. That I have these rights, and you've offended my rights, and and you've offended me. So, therefore, I need to be taken out my anger on you, uh, and I am justified in this cause. Now, see, if you go to the right, you're talking about humility, you're being humble. Uh, and being self-sacrificing. So you are not talking about an issue of rights. You're talking about an issue of, well, in terms of the, the, the sense of the right-hand path, you're talking about selflessness. So, so you're not there for yourself. You're not there for your rights. You're there to provide a service to others. Uh, and the thing is that you do have your personality. You do have your, your, character, your characteristic faults. Your, your, your character flaws. But it's not something that's paramount. It's not something that's... Uh, your focus isn't necessarily nursing your faults to a point where you keep them growing. You understand that they're false. You try to better yourself. You try to improve yourself. And... It's, a large chunk of the, 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 the meditation in the right hand path needs to have a spiritual component it's not simply about making yourself feel good it's about dealing and struggling with the issues that you have this is the right hand path and of course there are the in terms of the specifics it, the right hand path has a number of directions into which we would go and Christ is one of these directions now the other directions have are there, and they're both on the right, all, all on the right hand path. But it depends on where what it take where it takes you to. And if you examine it carefully enough, what you'll find is that it's only the right hand path of Christ do you get to become one with the Creator. All the other paths take you to oneness with either the universe or with the uh, earthly surroundings. You become part of the creation. Uh, and on the Christian path. Uh, you become one with the Creator. So, uh, you look at the other paths, you're talking about uh, uh, the universe and becoming one with the universe, becoming one with, you know, uh, the one becoming one with nature. You're talking about holistic experience. But again, you're talking about the holistic experience within the physical nature of the Earth. You are not talking about becoming spiritual, which is an infinite uh, understanding. It, it is a a connection with God himself and him does not necessarily mean to have a a, a, a gender to it it's just a general term uh, in terms of a pronoun because God reveals himself as a father but there's also the, a mother too as well because that's what we have in Christianity you have uh, Panaya who's become the mother of God and so this is all within the focus of the family so if you have a family environment in the early Christian church, and this is where the path exists as well, and the focus is there. The focus is towards the quote in, in the Hindu sense of things, terms, term, in terms of the Dharmic sense that you're working to tra to transcend or step above your physical nature and attain to more a more spiritual nature. And one of the key components of this is is to be selfless. And a large chunk of the meditations move you in this direction. It calms you down. It removes your anger. It removes your righteousness. Because there are a lot of times our righteousness becomes our sword. And we kill other people with our righteousness. We become self-righteous. And so what happens is that our sense... And then there's another It removes our sense of righteousness. That, that, that we feel, oh, you have offended me. So I need to do X, Y, Z to avenge my senses. This says, no, we need to be self-sacrificing. The, the 
struggles are internal, they're spiritual, they're not physical. And you cannot dictate to others because you yourself are on the path, you're a struggler. And so you don't dictate to others because you need that sense of selflessness in order to move yourself forward. So you only chastise others, you only attack others based in your own sense of self. And you're going to be selfless, then you need to remove that self. And that's what meditation does. Meditation is the exercise, the spiritual exercise, to remove the self. Well, I just finished uh, on my side uh, YouTube stroll. I just finished uh, Loftus Party of Six. They're a nice RVing channel, a family of RVers. Uh, they're in the mountains. I'm, the scenery is absolutely gorgeous. So you get to see a lot of... It, 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 again, it's these. It, I like these road trips. I like the campiness of the road trips. Uh, I we we did them every summer when I was a kid with my with my my, my parents we we always go down to Boston, and so you'd see a lot of these uh, side uh, ro side roads and uh, different scenery as you went went by. Ugh. And this is kind of the same thing. So, but this is my uh, YouTube stroll now is now completely filled out. It's got everything from tween to adult to 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 kid in between. You know. All the different elements are there. All the elements are there, and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Uh, but the thing is that this time I'm ending the I'm ending the weekend vlog because I'm switching my schedule over. I'm planning my first uh, outing tomorrow with my scooter. Uh, I've got my glasses. It was stated that uh, when you had sunglasses that you couldn't see the screen on a cell phone. And this is particularly what I need because my screen on the uh, on the uh, uh, on the scooter is an LCD screen, so it's hard to see it in bright daylight. So I thought, let's try out these glasses. I can still see. I can still see the screen. I can see. So I now have a way of uh, of seeing the screen as I go along, even in bright daylight. So uh, that's going to be extremely helpful. Uh, I've got uh, everything needed to, to to get ready to go. I've got my go. I've got my GoPro charging up. That's what's happening now. I've got my GoPro charging up. I'll be able to attach it to the handlebars of the scooter, and hopefully, I'll be able to film uh, as I'm moving along. But in order to plan my day out, I need to shift the gaming schedule. So I have the right now at 1:30. I have to do the next task. That will give me until I think uh, just about six, seven o'clock in the morning before I have to, I have to do the next thing, and that will take me till just about noon, uh, one o'clock, uh, so I can get the uh, gaming in just before I leave. And that way, I'll be I'll be clear to not do the gaming uh, until I come back in the evening, around nine ten o'clock in the evening. So uh, that's how I'm planning things out. It's uh, a bit of a risk, but uh, uh, we'll see how uh, it ends up working out. So that's why I'm ending the vlog now. Uh, probably oh around seven eight o'clock in the morning. I'll start the video for Monday. And today is, uh, I think today is, uh, it's already Monday. Yeah, it's Monday, September, Monday, September 14th. So the vlog for September 14th, Monday, September 14th, will start on, um, start at uh, basically around 8 o'clock in the morning. That's my next, my next gaming, uh, window. Doing it now, so the next gaming window is at, at, at 8 o'clock in the morning, and that will take me to uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon as my final gaming thing before I leave, my final gaming session before I leave. And so, anyways, uh, 
let's get into our, our, our end refrain, our end thing, and it doesn't matter whether you're worth it or not, uh, no refunds.